Hey, all you uh, pod peeps, and that's what I'm going to start calling all you people who do merch and other pods. You're now my pod peeps. Got some exciting news. It actually was announced last week, but I missed it, but I picked it up this week. For all those of you that are still waiting to get into merch, but want to sell on Amazon, or you're already on merch, but you want to sell on merch or on Amazon as a private seller, but you don't want to use the three, you know, three tier integrations going through Shopify, Printful to Shopify to Amazon. Printful has already always had an Amazon integration, but it used to be very difficult to get going because you had to register your brand with Amazon. And to do that, you had to have a trademark on your brand. And I'm bushy today. Oh, there's my stormy cat. Anyway, is that stormy? No, that's Charlotte. I can only tell by their face. Stormy has a wider brown stripe. Anyway, back to Amazon Pod. Um, so yeah, it was a pain in the ass, if I can say that. And no one actually really did it. The only other way to do it was do it through Teespring or through Shopify. And it was still a pain in the butt. Well, this past week, they announced their simplified integration using Amazon's GTIN exemptions. And what that does, and I don't know the magic voodoo behind it, it stands for Global Tracking Identification Number, I think. But you apply for an exemption for that, and then you no longer have to provide, you no longer have to have a trademarked brand, which is one, and the big one is you no longer have to have a UPC code for every variation. You don't have to have a UPC code at all. So it works very well. Um, I'm not going to go through a big tutorial here because Printful has a great video on it. And I'll link it down below. Burp, burp. Um, it's a very straightforward video and it really explains the process well. And when you, when you do it, you go to your Printful account and you click New Store and go down to the uh, integrations and select Amazon, it walks you through everything. And so this video walks you through it because you, you have to create a letter to submit with your application to, for exemption. And they do that for you. They create, you just got to provide simple things and um, they do the letter for you. And basically you have to print out that letter and sign it. Or what I did is I basically downloaded the PDF of the letter and I use Adobe Acrobat, which gives you, I have a digital signature set up and that worked. And um, so when you do the integration first off, you'll go through the process on Amazon. You have to have a pro seller account, $40 a month, but that's it. And then you um, do this process, you submit your letter, you put in your reason for uh, not providing you PC codes and Printful provides you the reason. It's basically saying, I'm selling private labeled items, and that's it. Do exactly what they say in the video. I did this this week. I think I did it Monday, and I was approved uh, sometime on Tuesday. They say it takes up to three days. I was approved, approved within 24 hours, I believe it was. And after that, they say, wait 24 hours before loading your, loading your first product. Damn, guys. I don't think I waited that long, but I did it. But I will give you a little bit of a warning. It takes a while to push a listing through. I haven't tried doing more than one listing at a time, but one listing, and I'll, I'll walk you through that real quick here in a second, but one listing, you just push it like you would normally like to Etsy or to your website. You select the product, select the, uh, the image, set your price, do your description and do your title um, and then push it. Now I have been doing tank tops since merch doesn't provide tank tops. Uh, I've been doing women's racer backs and um, yeah, with all the color options they have there except for white and all the size options at 64 variations and it well takes an hour to two hours to push the listing through to Amazon and then it becomes live because I guess it's because of so many variations and they're setting everything up. One thing I haven't, I, I have tried it and it didn't work. And I'm going to try again is 
going back to the listing and editing afterwards because I wanted to add a few more bullet points and let people know it can take seven to ten days to ship because um, I want to prevent any warnings or any problems there. So real quick I'll do a screen share and I don't know if I really have to but I'll do a quick screen share showing you the pushing of the product through but um, yeah it's really easy guys. Here we go. Okay, here we are in my Printful account showing my list of stores. You can see the Amazon store right there. But uh, real show you real quick, if you already have an account, if you don't have an account, down below is a link to my affiliate link to Printful. I appreciate if you sign up through my affiliate link there. I get a little something something for that. Um, and I appreciate it. Everything goes to pay the bills here and feed my kids and my cats. They're almost the same thing. But anyway, once you get an account set up, all you're going to do go down here, it says to create a new store, choose your method. You're going to click that. And then you're going to go down here and click Amazon. Now, I already have one. It probably will go to a start. But here's everything you need to do. Um, in the video that's down below from Printful, it tells you um, I need to apply for a GTN exemption. That's what you'll put there. You'll put your Amazon store name there, seller name there. Hit continue and just walks you through it. Do exactly what the video says. You'll be set up to go in no time. Um, so let's go back to my stores here, and I'm going to push through a tank top. Um, Amazon. I'm going to do Add, and it's really simple. We're going to do Shirts. I'm going to do I'm going to do a women's. Whoops, back up one, not a T-shirt. I'm going to do a tank top, and it's okay. I'll probably go back and do T-shirts later too because these are the belt. I'll do the Bella Canvas shirts, and. Um, yeah, those are uh, a nicer quality shirt than the anvils in my mind. I think that's that might be what they're using for their premium. I'm not sure, but we'll click the uh, the uh, blah 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 the racer back. We're gonna go to an image, and I gotta find my. I'm gonna do a color guard shirt. Let's find where I have that one at. No, nope. I have that up here. No. Nope. Where do I have that shirt? Maybe it's, uh, it's probably guard something. Let's, let's call it uh, guard. Let's see if I can find it there. There we go. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Then horizontally center it again. And bring it down a little bit so it's not so close to the collar. The razor bracks put it, right, as you can see, the blue line there, right up against the collar. So I move it down a little bit. I already got my colors chosen. If you can go back here to product and choose your color. I don't do white because it doesn't look good on white. Heather white. I like Heather white. Um, so that's it. Proceed to mockups. Flat. Proceed to description. Now I'm going to go over here and do a... Where is it? There we go. I'm going to do a cut and paste from my spreadsheet. Here. Get rid of a t shirt, it's women's razorback tank. Then I'm gonna grab my description and I paste it right here. And that's that. Proceed to pricing. Uh, one thing, and I'll probably try to show you it to you here. Um, I found out, uh, you know, when you go to your manage inventory on Amazon, it gives you an estimate of the fees. Um, estimate of fees of this is around four dollars, so keep that in mind to what profit you want. So I've been doing this at eight dollars, so I'll get around a four dollar profit. And uh, that's it. It takes care of shipping and everything for you. And you can see here, I still have one going from earlier. So we got two. So you can do a couple at a time. I wouldn't do a lot at the same time. It may, uh, you know, clog up your bandwidth pipes and uh, cause an error. But, uh, and I'll show you real quick over here. Hi, Margaret. Um, manage inventory. Um, here's two of the shirts I already have up. Um, if you go, you click variations. An error occurred when we try to do your request. Try later. That's not nice. Oh, so I'm not going to be able to show you. But you know, it's just a fee preview here. It was about $4.14. So um, hope my shirt's still live. My shirt's still live. No sales yet. But that's it. It's real simple. Um, within an hour or two after you hit that submit, 
you'll have a shirt live on Amazon. So that's it, folks. Um, I'm kind of excited. It's going to be a slow process getting things uploaded because I'm still uploading the other pods and merch and now Amazon seller account. But it gets rid of the middle person, you know, going through Shopify or going through Teespring. You're selling direct. And it shows up as your brand there. And in hindsight, I, and I'm going to see if I can change it. Um, I don't think your brand has to be the same as your store name. I'm not positive. But if I could go back and change my brand name, I would have changed it to match my brand name in merch. So that way when people click my, go find a merch shirt, click my brand name, they'll be able to see some of my other shirts here as well. And my mugs. I'm going to put mugs up here as well. I might do a mug next and see how long it takes a mug to, uh, since it's only uh, two options, two variations, it might go through a lot quicker. So that's it, folks. I don't want to make this a real long video. I need to go back in the backyard and keep on working I'm out there. I have a project going, as you might see in some of my other videos of my aquaponic system. So that's it. Have a great time. Enjoy loading your shirts up to Amazon. And be happy, and I will see you guys later. See ya.